ABC News headquarters. This is ABC World News with Diane Sawyer. New hope for the estimated 10 million Americans facing the frightening prospect of the loss of most of all of their sight as they enter the golden years. But now scientists have found a cutting edge treatment that could help them. A treatment straight out of science fiction. John Berman has all the details. Good morning, John. Good morning, Diane. Macular degeneration is the leading cause of blindness for people over 55. It affects millions of Americans, which is why there's so much hope surrounding a new study. A new study. Tiny telescopes in people's eyes. Telescopes. It could change their lives. Steve Austin, astronaut. A man barely alive. Remember Steve Austin, the six million dollar man? A telescope in his eye gave him the gift of sight. That was a sci-fi fantasy. But now these microscopic telescopes are a reality and could provide hope for millions of Americans. I think it's changed my life. 78 year old Janet Grant has a telescope in her left eye. Like millions of Americans, she suffers from macular degeneration, a condition where your retina breaks down and you're left with blurry spots in your vision. Patients lose the ability to do even the simplest tasks. Art was one of my favorite hobbies to, to do. Riding a bike was another one. Janet took part in a trial where an implantable miniature telescope, or IMT, no bigger than the size of the tip of your fingernail, was surgically implanted right into the middle of her eye. What the telescope does is by enlarging the image that the patient is looking at allows them to see around the scotoma or the hole in their vision. The hard part comes after. You have to retrain your brain so the eye with the telescope handles central vision. The eye without all peripheral vision. It doesn't give you back your 20-year-old eyes. It does offer hope for a population in which there's no other options. Hi there. For Janet, at 78 years old, that means being able to ride in style. It just seems to me that each year there's more things that I can do with my eye. So I'm happy with it. I'm really happy with it. In a new study out just this week, uh, it was found that two-thirds of the people with this procedure showed significant improvement. The FDA is reviewing it right now, and doctors hope that perhaps it could be approved with wider distribution by the end of the year. Oh, after all this bleak news, something something that's really promising there. Love seeing her motor <laughs> Amazing. out. Amazing. <laughs> Didn't you? Love that. Thanks, John.